Well, just in time for the holidays, there's an expensive new sea wall to protect Portsea Beach from erosion. But the strong currents that have done all the damage have forced the annual Portsea Swim Classic to move its course. Unhappy locals say things haven't been the same since the heads were dredged two years ago. The beach is the heart and soul of this town on the Mornington Peninsula. For Gary Grant, it's the lifeblood of his marine tourism and education company. But over the past year, as the sand has washed away, he's found it increasingly difficult to do business. They've turned a beautiful beach into an ugly beach. Gary Grant says it's now too dangerous to take diving and snorkelling groups to the pier on an incoming tide because of the increasing swell. He's not the only one who's been affected by the changing landscape. These days we, we struggle putting kids in canoes and taking kids snorkelling down there. The locals say the problem started when the government began dredging in Port Phillip Bay to deepen the channel. The Department of Sustainability and Environment has spent $2 million building this seawall to try and stop the beach eroding. We believe we've stabilised the, uh, the foreshore and, uh, and we're now protecting the assets of the Port Sea Beach and, actually, and also the, uh, the Crown foreshore. The DSE says the cause of the erosion is unknown. Some locals are adamant that the erosion and the increased swells are the result of dredging. Some are calling for a government investigation into the reason behind the problems. I think it's very important for them to understand the mistake that they made so that they don't continue to make the other mistakes. A spokeswoman for Environment Minister Ryan Smith says he's waiting for more information before considering any calls for an investigation. Stephanie March, ABC News, Portsea.